Hi, welcome to another episode of Data Science and AI Weekly. My name is Manav. I am your host for this episode. If you have not listened to the first three episodes that we did, I would sincerely urge you to firstly listen to those three episodes. So let's get started with episode four of Data Science and AI Weekly. In this episode, what we are going to discuss today is top three trends that you need to watch out for in data science in 2020. So we are right now as we do this podcast we are at the end of 2019 and you need to know about what is happening in the world of data science uh, in 2020 so that you are prepared for some of these trends and 2020 and beyond so let's look at the first trend so the first trend is democratization of data science now why this is very important is over the last couple of years uh, data science as a field has been evolving evolving non stop so one of the things what i see is that data science education overall is going to permeate across industries which means that more and more industries are going to adopt data science and more and more leaders across different companies are going to look for talent in the space which means if you're thinking about getting into data science you should not limit yourself only to the IT industry but you should look beyond IT industry as well there are a lot of lot of interesting uh, opportunities yeah that's what the, the first trend is which i say is democratization of data science overall the second trend you need to watch out for and this is a trend that i highly recommend you need to be part of is data science moving to cloud a lot of data science right now that is happening is data science on local system these are uh, high quality local systems but if you want to do production level data science and production level data science is a lot of time not possible on your python notebooks or r as well so if you're doing data science at huge data levels cloud systems really come to your rescue and the two systems that i would recommend is azure machine learning uh, azure cloud platform which has fantastic capabilities for doing data science aws also is uh, awesome though it requires a little bit more of coding experience and google cloud platform which is gcp is also amazing for uh, doing data science but out of all these three if you are a starter start with azure ml that is the easiest to start with So cloud is where the whole world is moving towards and data science is no different in 2020 we are likely to see more and more data science projects getting executed on cloud and this is a capability that you should pick up also fast into 2020 the third the third trend for 2020 you need to be on top of is automated data science or automated machine learning a lot of data science work in the end is data cleaning right data transformation right and as a data scientist that's what not the best use of your time is so what you're going to see more and more is that uh, what some of these cloud pro- providers plus other data science platforms are promising is that as a data scientist a lot of this work that is not productive enough can be automated in fact to the extent that a lot of machine learning algorithms also what these platforms are promising is that you don't even need to select the right machine learning algorithm the platform in itself depending on what you're looking to do will select the right machine learning algorithm for you and this is where we are moving towards the era of automated machine learning wherein we are saying is that as a data scientist you don't need to even pick machine learning algorithms you need your systems to do that for you so automated machine learning is going to be a huge trend and it's going to become even bigger in the years to come but you need to definitely watch out for this in 2020 so those are the three top trends just to review democratization of data science it's it's spreading across industries second is data science moving to cloud aws azure and uh, gcp google cloud platform is something that you need to watch out for and third is data science moving and becoming more and more automated and you need to also check out some of the platforms and get your hands dirty on some of these platforms h2o is something that i would highly recommend 
to all of you. So if you love this episode, just leave your comment, leave, share your feedback. If you want an episode to be made on a topic of your choice, let us know. We're always looking for suggestion. So this was episode four. I'm signing off from this episode. Look forward to seeing you in episode five. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, just do that immediately. Thank you very much for tuning in and uh, see you soon.